Remember me? I'd have to lose all the brain cells in my head before I forget something as fine as you. You know I stay pimping the pros. Let's get it. You know it's hard out here for a pimp When he trying to get this money for the rent For the Cadillacs and gas money spent We'll have a whole lot of bitches jumping shit It's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, and this is Pimping the Pros. Uh, we're excited because uh, obviously this is uh, number eight episode, uh, so we're moving right along here. I want to thank everyone who's been checking us out so far, and if you haven't seen all the rest of the shows, then make sure that you do uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel at eblockradio.com. Just go to eblockradio.com, you can check out all of the replays. So. And uh, it's, it's week number eight, or not week number eight, <laughs> but episode number eight. So by now, of course, I'm sure that you know how this goes. I'm going to read a piece, uh, talk about the inspiration behind that selection. And then afterwards, I'm going to pick out a few select lines um, that have some, some pretty big importance to the, the overall poem. Um, this time, I've, uh, I've, I've kind of been all over the place. I've done some that were kind of romantically inclined, um, some, some that were uh political uh some that were just reminiscent of you know other aspects of my life um this one though um i had to reach back this was written right actually right after my oldest sister passed away who actually um passed away in 2012 um this is a piece that i wrote and i will admit it is a it's a little dark it's a darker piece um but it is just a piece that's going to talk about um, our mortality uh, something that we definitely have to come to terms with because we all have our own mortality to uh, to deal with. So this is uh, how this was in inspired. So before I even read the piece, uh, it is called Musical Chairs. And I did want to uh, go ahead and dedicate this to my older sister, Angie. Uh, rest in peace, baby. Musical Chairs is coming up right after this commercial break. But till then, you already know what it is. Pimping the Pros. We'll be back in one minute. Since America has been America, we've been fighting for equality and freedom. This freedom was supposedly given to us in 1865 when Abraham Lincoln decided to sign the Emancipation Proclamation three years earlier, only to find out that the prison would become the new plantation, locking away thousands upon thousands of black bodies each year, destroying the black community. So I've got a story to tell. Those brilliant bastards. This is a fictitious account of a non-fictitious reality of being black in America. Get your own autographed copy today for only $20. You can send payment via Cash App, PayPal, or Venmo. Whichever payment option you choose, please do include your mailing address, and we will ship anywhere in the U.S. for no additional cost. Get your copy today. Musical chairs. Anonymous to life, I stay pinned to brown wood. Women cry out and dance to the tune. Slow singing fills the room like oxygen, yet I can barely breathe. The man in the box is definitely not breathing life into the hollowness of empty souls. I retreat into the cocoon of my skin where deep within, I feel the loneliness of a desperate soul, seeking relevance in it all. Barely catching sight from the abyss, but only this time. Next time I would be closer. The singing would be louder, moving women to tears and dancing again. Men remain anonymous behind dark shades, shielding portals to their souls. If needed, there are any souls to be shielded. Next time comes sooner than last time. I'm even closer than before. Washed in waves of wailing and hollering, this time I feel it. My chest rising, then sinking, then rising, then sinking, in rhythm with dancing women slinging songs of sorrow while tears flush sins from their souls 
she clutches my hand, her stern face shoot daggers. I look through her as if she is not there, unfazed by her stare. Then it smacks my face like several hands. There are no more rows ahead, no more obstacles betwixt me and the box. Now I understand, but it's too late. I'm no longer looking from behind the dancing women. I'm looking from the front, and others are now looking at me. I plead, I beg, I now understand. But now it's too late. That's that piece, y'all. Yo, so the uh, whole concept of musical chairs, if you're not hip to musical chairs, is a game that we used to play back in the day. It's a little kid's game. Basically, you play music, and then you circle around chairs, and once the music stops, everyone gets to sit down. But obviously, there's one less chair than the amount of people. So that means that someone's going to be you know, put out. Someone's going to be left out. So I, I use that reference to musical chairs because that's kind of what going to funerals is like. It's like sometimes you go to funerals of people that you barely know. So you, f you sit further behind. But then the closer you get to, you know, relatives and the older you get, um, the closer you start getting to the front because you are closer and closer to that relative until, you know, finally it's, it's you. You're going to be the one that's, uh, it's inevitable. Basically, we all have to face our own mentality. I mean, I said mentality, <laughs> mortality. But, yeah, so that's where I got that whole concept from. And just to go over a couple of lines that I think are um, definitely stand out uh, would actually be, I think I want to start at the end um, where it basically says, um, I'm no longer looking from behind the dancing women. I'm looking from the front, and others are now looking at me. See, so right there is letting you know, like, I'm no longer, you know, behind the, the dancing women or behind the people in the, you know, that's viewing the body. I'm actually being viewed. And a lot of times we let life pass us by to the point where it's it's too late. By the time you get to that point where you're being viewed, um, then, like, obviously life is over. So I think that's why that's one of those deep lines. Um, also, too, let me see, going back out to the front. Um, it says, anonymous to life, I stay pinned to brown wood. Women cry out and dance to the tune. Slow singing fills the room like oxygen, yet I can barely breathe. So, yeah, that just that's just like a lot of times we go to funerals like the like it's it's overwhelming. Like it, And even though it, it can if you took away the sound or took away the fact that this was a funeral, um, it, it comes across as a joyous occasion, which, of course, a lot of people do say that, you know, they want to be celebrated. They want to be a, a, a life celebration. So a lot of times it, it does feel like a celebration. But at the end of the day, you are mourning like the death of someone. So I think that that's just kind of how I depicted it as, you know, coming from going to funerals from a, as being a child and then coming up to um, the later years and then especially being redefined uh, once my sister passed away. So. This was one of those pieces that was kind of therapeutic for me. I was able to get out some of those emotions and, you know, kind of push forward and leave it all, you know, on the page. So, again, I just want to dedicate this piece uh, to my older sister. Uh, love you, Angie. And I hope that, uh, that others are inspired uh, by this work. And don't forget, again, as I always say, you are able to get your work featured on our show. Only thing you got to do is send in an audio file of your piece to uh, pimping the pros at gmail.com. That is P I M P I N T H E P R O S E at gmail.com. So that uh, that concludes uh, another episode of Pimping the Pros. This is episode number eight. Can't wait to hear from you guys next week. And I will be checking that inbox to see if uh, there's going to be any features. And then uh, shortly, probably in about a week, maybe two, uh, we're going to have a new segment uh, on the show. And I'll have my, uh, my co producer present that segment when, once that time comes around but i think you're going to be uh, pretty impressed and i hopefully you'll, you'll like the way this new segment goes but uh till next time you already know what it is this is pimping the pros and i'm q lewis holding it down live from the 48205 peace out y'all